Low traffic neighbourhoods have now been turned into, or will be turned into, 15 minute neighbourhoods. Alan Miller's here, there's a big protest coming up this weekend. Alan, tell us uh, what you're doing first of all, and tell us uh, what insidiousness you're fighting. The low traffic neighbourhoods, many of which came in during lockdown, many didn't get uh, invitations to the consultations, many people were not online. Those that did overwhelmingly rejected the idea that we should have them, although the councils have decided that that is not relevant. They're not interested in the democratic process. They're pushing ahead anyway. The 15-minute city that Oxford is promoting goes another step further. You should be walking and cycling, sort of mandating behaviour, mm. preventing vans from dropping things off for businesses, hospitality suffering enormously. If everybody in Britain was saying this is what we should have, that would be something different. But we're being presented with this net zero notion that then ends up limiting us, restricting us, uh, locking down areas of our lives and cities and streets, which people have said they don't want. So on Saturday in Haringey, residents and businesses are going to be out there challenging what's going on with Haringey Council, saying they don't want it. It's impacting people, families and businesses negatively and together have signatures and members both residents and businesses in all the boroughs in the UK. It's about the public having our voices heard, being listened to when we actually do consultations. And actually, where did it become the case where we could suddenly have all our streets cordoned off, a bit like East Berlin was? Mm. I mean, it's kind of ludicrous and no one's agreed to it. And I think that the councillors and government as well should think very carefully now because a lot of people are furious. People are losing their incomes. They're not able to see loved ones. The cars always represented some independence for people, some yeah. freedom. And that is one of the things that's abhorrent for technocrats who like to sort of suffocate and limit. If people want to join the protest, Alan, uh, what can they do? Is there a place they can go and find where it is? Yeah, so it's on Saturday at 2pm in Wood Green, outside the View Cinemas. Uh, you can also go to togetherdeclaration.org. Uh, uh, where we've got information there and at Together Deck on our Twitter. And we'd love people to join us and get involved with this.